Well, hi everybody. How's your week been? It's uh, Sunday here, in North Wales. We've had um, a very mixed week of weather. It's been absolutely freezing at night. Temperatures low as two. Um, one morning, the air source heat pump had icicles all on the front of it. It was still working, but it was um, a shock to see. So um, we picked a, a bad week or two weeks to take the covers off. Um, fish are fine. We have got a bit of treatment in the pond at the minute. Um, we'll talk about that in a minute. Also, um, we decided that we would put the um, air bubbles off um, during the day on the bottom drain, switched that off all day, and then only had it on in the evening, overnight. And we've noticed that the um, sieve is picking up double the amount of mess than when the air is on. So that's an interesting um, find. Um, again, I'll turn you around in a minute and I'll show you the amount of um, dirt from the sieve. I'm just having the um, air bubbles off. Um, and we'll go through a quick clean and I'll show you the fish and show you the treatment that's in the pond. at the fish water's a bit blue tinged at the minute because we've got some treatment in because um, a few of the fish were flicking and um, just you know your fish and by looking on, at them they didn't look too happy so nipped it in the bud and put an all-round treatment in so the UV's off at the minute bubbles are off all day to save electricity I'll show you the amount of dirt I was talking about with the air off during the day then the dirt must be settling quicker on the floor and it's getting picked up double the amount than normal so let's clean it now see so look at all that we only get half of that normally during the day so this will get it out and show you normally so normally we just shake it out in the garden clean it that's it wildlife pond's doing all right i've noticed we've still got the three goldfish so they've wintered okay the old um, heat pumps on. Our um, bill that came in on the 25th of uh, February for the month, goes 25th to the 25th, was 389 quid. Um, January and December. December was 560. Some of you might want to sit down at the cost of that, but it was on um, a kilowatt. That's for the whole house. It was on a two kilowatt um, electric inline heater, and January it was 509. Now bear in mind we we do keep our heat house heating on 24/7 at a low heat, and we also have an oil heater in the conservatory, and I do tumble dry a lot. But this month. It was only 389, so the air source heat pump has saved us quite a bit. So I'm really pleased. So I'll just show you what um, meds we put in the pond. This is not for everyone. I'm sure people will frown at us, but um, oh, it's not in here. Um, when our fish look a bit dodgy, I like to put an all-round treatment in, just a mild one, to disinfect the pond as well. Ah, oh, that one. So put that in seven days. It saves me getting the fish out and um, stressing them out. Just do it, especially with spring. 
It's absolutely freezing out here today. I don't know about everybody else, what the weather's been like. The uh, sun canopy's on because um, we still haven't got round to um, getting all the um, bits and pieces we need for making the pagoda. So that's it this week, guys. Not much to report. Um, Jet, the shower, nearly jumped out the pond in midweek, did um, a flip out, hit the side over there, managed to stay in the pond. Lucky enough I was in the conservatory so if he had jumped out we'd have um, saved him. So like I said we've had a few flick in and a lot of um, mucus build up on the koi. So we've done the treatment. See, I don't know if you know it's Finn going around now. Kahaku. His um, damage, some damage is getting worse. The older he gets, he's got lumps and bumps on him. The walking wounded he is. Always very healthy though. You can see where he scraped himself last year on the, on the um, skimmer before we netted it, closed it off. It's then um, instead of healing it's just come up in little fleshy bumps. Time for a bit of sweet corn from Aldi. Takes a bit of time, six foot deep. This pond is. It always makes me laugh when um, we give them sweet corn. Because then tomorrow when I go to clean the um, sieve, all the casings <laughs> are all in in the sieve where they've um, et it and spat out the casing. their treat for the day. They've been fed this morning, they've had that. Yeah, it's the third water change this week, doing it every couple of days and testing with um, tester strips so it's um, cycling at the minute. So keep changing the water every couple of days till it matures. Cleaned out the floss, that was quite dirty. And then I'll top it up. They're still quite shy, but they will come and feed in the feeding ring in the morning. I've um, been rattling the fish food so they get to uh, recognise the sound. Hopefully they'll come out a bit more. Bob the fancy goldfish is in there with them as well. So, there we go, all fine. The dirt's come out of that one tiny little sponge, out of that filter that's running the shower in one week. Mm. So, like getting them off, it's getting them back on. Yeah. Right. Normally I do yeah. the maintenance on it, but as I'm filming, Chris is doing it just so we can show you what we do. So I've cleaned out the little sponges in the filters. The back one didn't need cleaning, that's the one with the UV in. This one did. Um, so nice big water change. Let them go in. Hide in this corner all the time. Mm. 
<laughs> right, so it's had its water change. Obviously, we always put a bit of dechlorinator in. All the filters are clean now. And then obviously we put a bit of filter starter in just because the, the tank's new. And that's it. For another couple of days. <laughs>